God fucking damn it. Like, what am I supposed to do? Can you just skip this? Like, why do I have to watch you do, like, a whole house tour before you kill me? I'm sorry, this is just... This is just stupid. I couldn't even get close to the ghost because she kept camping the back of the house. God damn! I didn't know you were running an MTV crib show up in here. I don't even think that made sense. But hey, this is what I do. I torture myself with difficult games, I get mad, and then I beat them. And when I beat them, it is so much sweeter. Problem is, I just, if only there was a perk that would allow me to see batteries through walls or something, because otherwise, with no batteries, I, I couldn't do anything against her. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes you just have those runs, it's going well until Anna just decides to camp the back of the house for 10,000 years, and then you just you can't do anything about it. <sighs> I mean, I could have tried, like, waiting until she was at the front of the house and then just jumped over the ledge, but even then she would have had eyes on me the whole time. With no UV, I was pretty much screwed. And then I did get screwed, so... That's my story. Wild, the guy who got screwed by a goat woman. And not in the fun way. Sometimes you just have unwinnable situations. Like, I literally couldn't outrun her there. I pretty much just subjected myself to her the second that she got near me. It wasn't even because the guy grabbed me. It's just because I knew that she would have gotten me eventually. There was no place for me to jump on, no safe spot, no nothing. have to get lucky. That's the truth. I just have to have one of those runs where she, where she just spends the majority of the time running around the house. Also, I didn't know that she sped up at around 7. I had no idea that she sped up at 7. That is a um, good thing to know. And not a great use of my batteries. playing this for about an hour and a half, not one good run, or I mean, like, not a single nightmare mode complete. I guess that's just the sad truth about this game, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. <laughs> Oh, right, I can't do that yet. 
so. TV room key? No, I don't. Need to worry about that room ever again. I'm sure even the best speedrunners have had their bad runs. Just gotta, wor just gotta worry about getting that one good run to finally solidify your place as one of those people who beat Nightmare Mode. That's all I gotta do, man. This is the hardest difficulty. It's not like I'm trying to do this like on normal. Because at least on normal I could stun her more than once. Wait, I don't need to go down here. Eh, I guess we'll just deal with the goat down here immediately. We'll just throw him in the altar. We'll cook him up, turn him into a nice stew. You know how it is. <laughs> oh no, he heard my plans. <laughs> <That's it>. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay, first check playroom. Bathroom. Nice. Nope. Master bedroom. Shut the fuck up. Shut your stupid ass up. I've been through enough bullshit tonight, man. You don't have to bat me. Save that for the ritual. Playing these sorts of games, you really start to feel truly how powerless you feel. Maybe that's why I feel sick to my stomach, because I feel powerless. I know I'm definitely overthinking it. It's it's, it's a video game. It's a video game about a woman possessed by a, a goat demon. I don't think there's much. I really don't think there's much depth to it. Th this game just can just get under my skin so easily. Why did I turn the other way? That was a stupid idea. Once again, she is harmless. At least at this point. Actually, now I'm asking myself, why do I even need to burn two at a time? She's gonna be really fast anyway, so... Best chance I have at surviving. 
best chance I have at surviving is to make sure that... Oh my god, where are the fucking keys? Where are the keys, bro? Shared bathroom. I think there's one place I can check. That... What? Oh, that's master bed. That's the master bedroom. Shared bathroom. Where... Oh, this is the shared bathroom. Okay. Interesting. There's so many fucking goats, and I haven't even gotten the, the top cage one. Wait, is that a key? No, it wasn't. Anyways, I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I am pretty stressed. I just want to win. But I win. I will win eventually. Unless I stream for like five hours. No, no. Even if I do stream for five hours. I'm still going. I will not stop streaming until I complete Nightmare Mode solo. I just have to get lucky. I just have to get lucky and play my cards right. Fuck off, Anna. <laughs> yeah, remember earlier in the stream when I said say hi to Anna every time you pass her? That, 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 that's changed now. Now I'm just frustrated at her. Okay, that's 8 out of 10. You just need the last two gas cans. Can I help you? You little... Whatever. At least there were no goats in there. You know what? I gotta get rid of you. I gotta get rid of you, man. You, you were just a liability. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, I never opened that door. I never opened that door. I can't believe... Out of all of those times, I never opened that door once. I'm actually stupid. Now I need to master bed. Look at these guys. Look at these mad lads. They're gonna help me take down Anna. Battery! Yay! Don't use it. Don't spend it all in one place. Attic cage, there we go. Finally, something goes my way. That's a lie. A lot of things have been going my way now that I think about it. Okay. God damn, they're all over the place now. Fuck. I mean, it's just one room. Like, it's my fault that I'm overcomplicating everything. Is she walking towards the ritual site? No, she isn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. Come on, game. You are not going to get the better of me. I will beat you. There, there is no doubt about that. I will beat you. Just have to get a good run. Just gotta make sure that Aunt Anna doesn't camp the, the back of the house the whole fucking game. Because that's that's what screwed me up. She just she just camped the back of the house. I'm just so glad that in nightmare mode you don't have to stun her. Like at the beginning. She's looking at me. She's looking at me. I don't like that. I'm just gonna Yeah, we're gonna do that now. Okay, so now we have all gas cans, all batteries. All that's left is to just get the rest of the hay, get all the goats, and then we're good to go. Haven't said that enough times. Alright, I already got one on the altar. I don't like that Anna's at the back of the house, because that means that she could open up the at or she could open up the TV room at any time. Where the fuck is she? See, that's exactly what I don't like. That is precisely what I don't like. Where the... Wait, I could have sworn I had a goat in here. Or I, I could have sworn I heard a goat. Let's see, is she gonna make... Yep, she's making her way. Why am I not surprised? Anna, get a hobby. Get a hobby. Like, you, you used to teach ballet. Do that. Don't just... Don't just chill out around the TV room. It'll rot your eyes. And again, judging by the fact that you joined a cult, I don't think that you care about... 
Quah. Yeah, that sound is going to be ingrained in my, into my head. She opened the door, didn't she? Oh my god. It's a miracle she didn't open the door. Not yet, at least. I mean, she's not quite... We're not quite clear. Not quite out of the forest yet. I mean, if she, even if she does open the door, I can just close it. It's only when she does it later in the game that I don't want to risk it. Okay, what am I doing? She just wants to play the game. She just wants to play with the goats. Coral, don't don't make me want to make a wholesome picture with Anna and a baby goat. Oh my god. She didn't open the room! Let's go! Too bad it's only good when you're holding a goat, because <clears throat> I believe that the most stressful part is not just carrying the goat to the ritual site, it's it's also trying to get the other goat. Can you not? Thank you. Okay, so, two out of eight. Welcome back, lizard. Seriously, thank you, thank you both for, uh, for sticking by me. I, I know this has been, like, boring and maybe scary to some of you. When I feel fear, it's not because, like, Anna's chasing me or something. Like, there's really no suspense if I know that she's just gonna get me. I just... I just feel fear because I don't want to lose everything. There's Anna. Uh, where's the goat? Where's the goat? Oh wait, I already got the goat that was in this room. I do not believe that there's a goat in the basement. Good news. Oh, imagine trying to beat this without garrying all the goats into a single room. Oh my god, that'd be pain. The amount of bravery you would have to have. The amount of luck that you would need. It's bad enough that I'm trying to like minimize my luck by keeping all the goats in one room. I'd be scared too. Like... Dude, these runs are like 30 minutes to 45 minutes long. All of that just to die because Anna was like, Oh, I'm going to stay around the back. I, I, I don't know why. I just kind of want to stay there for some reason. Like that, that just gets frustrating after a while. Sometimes she stays there, sometimes she doesn't. And also, I know that she either made her way to the basement or is currently out here. There's a goat over there, too. Get back in there. This kind of looks like the Spencer Mansion. This kind of looks like the Left 4 Dead Mansion. Okay, so I'm going to assume... Five goats. Five out of eight. Okay, now we get the other hay... Guys, you do realize I'm focusing on the game. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm saying. Which sounds bad, I know, but like, considering that I have lived my entire life with my brain being on autopilot, it explains why I'm so stupid. I just do the same things over and over, expecting things to be different. Well, <laughs> pardon me. You know, I'm not one to sneeze very often, surprisingly. I'm just wondering why this game is eating my ass so hard. Pause. I mean, I say pause. You hear a goat baa after you open the door. That means that the ghost can be like, Oh, I want to leave. 
So that's why you gotta book it through the door and close it. Or just close it right in their face and then just scare them off. Okay, that is six out of eight. There has to be a go out here. There always is. the hay respawns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, this is eight. We're done. Now we just need to get two more. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I just need one more go. Okay. We just need one more goat. <laughs> god, I miss when, when the fire could just be instantaneous. Now you have to, like, now you have to pour the gasoline. Like, and that takes a while. God, I hate that. I hate that they changed that. dude. Nope. Hello. Why are you here? You know what? That's fine with me. You, you can stay there if you want. Because honestly, compared to the other locations in this game, you are probably in like one of the least threatening ones. What the fuck? I am moving so fast. What the hell? I'm not even moving a ritual item. I'm not even, like, carrying a ritual item. That's weird. <sighs> okay. Wait, did I just hear the goat? Maybe it's in here. Yes, there we go. There we go. Why did I not get hay? Oh yeah, because I thought that I would get one on the way. Well, F me, I guess. Okay, so that's five right there. Now I know where the goat is, and all the goats are in there. I have enough UV for a stun, and all the gas cans are where they should be. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. She doesn't sneak up on me. Okay. There we go. Wait, I'm not holding. I'm not holding any. Hey, I'm actually stupid. Alright, you know what? I want to stun her. Wait, no, I shouldn't. Should I? I've kind of screwed myself, because now I don't have a grace period anymore. See, I could either risk going for the goat, or I could just bait her out.
I hear her. I need to stun her. Now I really... More than ever, I need to stun her now. Okay, game, where is she? Wait, is she behind me? Oh my god, this is ridiculous, bro. Sounds like she's at the front of the house. Of course she isn't. Bro. over there. She doesn't look like she's over there. She sounds like she's above me. Okay. See, that's the thing, game. You can't say that she's nearby if you don't even know where she is. That That's just stupid. That's a stupid excuse. Oh, fucking hell! Sounds like she's below me. <laughs> it sounded like I said blow me. Uh, I hate living. But I would much rather not lose that privilege. Oh 
Okay, that's just dumb. Wait, did I just stagger her? Wait. Should I do this? I don't know, man. I don't know if this is a bad idea or not.
It's over. Go to hell. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking did it. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know there's two more maps, but still. Oh my god. It's over, bro. It's actually over. Anyways, Coral, you got anything to say to the stream? <laughs> I mean, that was an absolutely amazing display by you. I'm really proud of you. I think I heard that you were moonwalking. Oh, it's, uh, that's the achievement. Moonwalk is achieve completing, is completing the farmhouse solo on Nightmare. I'm very proud of you. <sighs> Thanks, man. I mean, yes, that did take some skill. I did have to, I did have to prepare. I did have to have some knowledge of the house and I had to, I had to make some decisions that were, like, scary. I don't think a game has scared me that much. Like, Devour, like, of course the jump scares can get a bit old. Like, once you mute the jump scare sound, it, it's like, oh no, oh no, it's a big scary thing in my face. But the thing that makes Devour so scary is the uncertainty. Whether this may be a detriment to the game mechanics, or, you know, a, a strength in its regard, this game is super unpredictable. Like with with Anna's pathing, with the goat locations, with the with the with the demons, and like if Anna's gonna open the door or not, this game is just absolutely insane. I don't like like that's why those games just don't do it for me. I I I I feel no. like I'd be very bad at those games. It took dedication and a lot of knowledge, thanks to the thanks to the wonderful people of the Devour Discord server, because the people there, they're like the only reason I managed to do what I did tonight. With that being said, folks, this was an eventful evening. I'm so thankful that y'all decided to show show up, show in, show out. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But we did it. We got what we came for. Now let's just um, raid out to someone we would like to give our support to. Coral, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate you <laughs> supporting me in chat and also in voice chat. I'll talk to you later, friend. Anyways, hope you all have a wonderful night. I'll see you in the next stream. Yep.